Welcome YouTubers. My name is Jay and this is going to be the first of maybe many videos. You can see behind me a uh, greenhouse that's going up and we're working on getting into hydroponics and I like you have been searching YouTube and reading everything I could find and have learned a bit and have some plants growing behind me. Tomato bush going crazy back there. But right now today I was looking through the internet trying to find a cracky method to grow lettuce. I've done this before and wanted to show a friend how to do it and so I was trying to find a video but every one that I found was overly complicated and uh, had a lot of unnecessary things so I decided I'm going to do a video and show you how to do this it's real easy you go and get a container this is a 15 gallon container you buy at Walmart for nine bucks you can buy a bigger one at Home Depot or Costco the 27 gallon they work a lot better but for the purposes of making this to make a video and possibly give to a friend of mine I'm gonna do it with the 15 gallon and so what you want to start off with is you want to kind of mark it with the with a dry erase where you want to be and so since I'm gonna grow lettuce in this butter leaf and they're gonna be fairly large I'm probably gonna to try to fit maybe eight heads of lettuce in this and so maybe I'll move these over here and that'll give me eight heads of lettuce. All right, to cut the holes in it, you're gonna to need to get a two inch hole saw. Buy it at Harbor Freight, anywhere else. It's real value if you're gonna do hydroponics. It's for the two inch net pots, it's pretty much gonna be invaluable. And so then you just wanna to go to where you made your mark. And when you're doing a hole saw in plastic, be it a plastic five gallon bucket, or for Dutch buckets or for other systems, you wanna start going clockwise. Until you break through the, and, and get the drill in, then you reverse it. And then you, you're done. All right, so after you have your holes all drilled, you obviously are going to have to clean it up. And for the purposes of this, I'm just going to knock it out right now, but you're going to want to hose this off several times um, just to get rid of the plastic. There's no pumps moving parts for it to clog, but it's just good practice not to have the plastic float around in the water. So after you're done with this, you go to the hydroponic store in your neighborhood or eBay and you get these two inch net pots for about 20 cents a piece. And now these fit <clears throat> perfectly into the holes that you've cut into the top of the container. <coughs> And as you know, if you've been researching the Kratky method, the plants are going to sit in the net pots and you're going to have them touching the water. We'll go over that in a moment. And then as the water evaporates, the plants are drinking the water, creating an air pocket. In that air pocket, there'll be air roots growing and water roots growing. And so for the duration of this time, and I've had one of these running, my last one ran for two months, three months as we were cutting lettuce off many times a week and getting my family of four with two adults eating salad or lettuce with dinner, uh, plenty of lettuce out of a box about the same size as this. You can obviously ramp this up to as large as you'd like as long as you have a container big enough and a, a source of, uh, of water. The only caveat, the only problem with the cracking method is that you cannot introduce water once the process has started, meaning you can't have it in the rain. For the purposes of this, I'm going to have it out here with a piece of plastic over it to prevent it from raining. It's December here in Florida and it doesn't rain very much, but if it does, then we don't want to mess the process up. And so for that, we will begin the process. I go to Home Depot and get plants for this. It's easy to grow your own seeds and start your plants from seeds. But for the purposes of this and for getting it started, a little flat of butter leaf lettuce from Home Depot works equally well. Stop. All right, as you see, I can uh, turn around a little bit because this is where it's going to end up for the purposes of doing this here. And you kind of want to move it in its proper spot before you go filling it up because this container, while it's only 15 gallons, that's 100 and, was it 80, that's 120 pounds of, of water that you don't really want to be sloshing around and, and in a moment we'll add the nutrients and we don't want those to go to waste either. So move the pot or a container 
where you're going to grow it and then simply fill it up. I'm using uh, well water here. Here in Florida the water comes from a deep well. The pH is about 6.9. Um, some people tell you it needs to be a little less, some people tell you it needs to be a little more. I think 7 being neutral, 6.9 is a slightly acidic soil that will work with uh, the nutrients added. Um, I have found that it's the benefit of the nutrients more than the pH. But what do I know? I just go looking through YouTube and learning from videos like, like everybody else. And so it'll be a few minutes and we'll fill this up and it will come right back. All right, so we've got it filled up and uh, I'm going to add the nutrients. Right here you'll see what I use is, you can zoom in on that, it's a 418.38. I get this from Kelp for Less. There's other places online you can get it. MHP Gardener uh, from the YouTube videos recommends it and I'll be 100% agreement that he's right. The stuff works magic. You can also Google Master Blend and find different sources for it. Okay, so now it's filled up. I've got it mixed with some water and you just simply add the nutrients to the pot. You want to stir it up. I had dissolve, I pre-dissolved this so there's nutrients in there and they're pre-dissolved. Now when you fill it up one of the other little rules that you need when you do the cracky method is that you want it on a level surface. This deck that I'm on right now is is level, at least for now, as it's the sun is uh, wearing down on it. But if you look into the little pots, you'll see you want them at the very bottom, the water up to the very bottom of the little pots. Um, not, not, not super high, not halfway, probably like a quarter of an inch up the little pots. Now, what we do here is then you just take your lettuce plant from Home Depot, your local garden store, etc. And you carefully take it out of the soil. Not to disturb the roots unnecessarily. And now we just dunk in a solution of, of water that I have here with the little small amount of nutrients. I don't know if it helps, but I figure if a weak solution of nutrients won't hurt. And then we go. And you take a little hydrotin and you stick it in there with the lettuce plant and you gently nestle them back into his little spot. Then we start all over again. Find yourself a nice lettuce plant. Save your labels because oftentimes you'll forget what you planted. Probably not in this situation, but in other situations, I think we've all done that once or twice. And then you try to get the whole thing out. You lay it in the water. Gently. Removing as much dirt as possible. Now because there's not a pump in this system, and because nothing will get clogged, it's not as imperative that you absolutely clean the roots. In fact, it'll work just as well sometimes with a little bit of dirt hanging from it. And what we do is we slowly put the hydrotin around the plant. Whoops. And if you mess up, not a problem. Just start over. There's a couple pieces of hydrotin. Move that out of the way. In there. Get the plant at a nice level. And then add the hydrotin. The hydrotin adds, does basically in this setup, uh, does nothing but supports the, the lettuce plant. Uh, a lot of other setups, the the rough surface of the hydrotin will hold moisture in a in a pump system or an ebb and flow system but in this system basically the hydrotin just holds the plant up so you could use anything you'd like that wouldn't fall through the holes and now we're gonna do this for a few more and we'll be back in one minute there you have it I've got eight lettuce plants growing as you can see lettuce is a little fragile um, as long as you didn't kill all the leaves or break them, they're going to look like they're not real happy for a couple few days. And I'll take the pictures. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to update it over the next month for when we're actually harvesting lettuce. And you'll get to see what we do. A lot of times you see a video on YouTube and people show you how to set it up and show you how to do it. But they don't show you the results and how it works. This works absolutely amazingly. Any family can do it. Any single person can do it. You can do it on a patio. Lettuce doesn't need a full amount of sun. In fact, it doesn't really like super hot. So you could do it with artificial lights. You can do it with a simple $10 uh, shop light from Walmart. 
Uh, there's no reason you can't have fresh greens. As long as you grow the same types of greens, you can grow bok choy, you can grow pak choy, you can grow cabbage, you can grow any leafy greens, collards, mustards, in this type of setup. If you have different greens, oftentimes they'll drink water at a different rate, and some will thrive and some won't. But as long as you keep each container green specific, you're going to be amazed at the plug and play reliability of this, the simplicity of this, and the, the fun of it. We'll be back shortly to keep you in informed of what's going on. We'll take pictures and uh, hopefully it'll be a success. Thanks. Welcome back. It's been one week since we planted our lettuce in the cracky hydroponic method tank that we built and just wanted to show you an update. If you can see, uh, it's grown pretty well. They all look pretty good. This one here looks like it, it uh, is falling over a little bit and I'm not sure if it's, uh, if it's something hit it or or what but it seems to be growing in pretty green as we pull these up you can see what the method does you see the roots how nice and white they are uh, growing right there in the medium don't want to mess up the roots and there's a kitty cat over there you see what happens is they're all growing in the medium and they're all doing pretty well I will for the video sake as you probably will see you'll see the what they looked like last week and I'll update this as the week's going on. Thank you. Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Jason giving you a third update for the second full week of growing for my hydroponic lettuce. Um, as you can see, and you can see clearly that we have uh, a lot of growth. Um, it's uneven, we'll talk about that in a moment. However, you can see some of the leaves here are the thin leaves that came from the uh, original plants that we uh, grew at the garden store when they're struggling for light in the garden center they come out kind of thin but from the same plant you see the new growth here that are coming up the thicker curly leaves um, we showed you the roots last week you saw the roots developing from no roots the first week this week we've got these going on I don't want to pull out too much there to don't want to damage them but as you can see we've got tons of roots going on as you can also clearly see that we have a lot more growth on this side than we have on this side and that could be one of two things, and I haven't really worked it out, and frankly, I don't care that much because we're going to have plenty of lettuce. Um, and this is just an experiment. Uh, if we pull one of these up, I suspect we'll see lots of roots, just not quite as much roots. And that's going to grow one of two things. That's either that um, the, this deck I'm on here, this um, old deck, is either slanted, causing a lot more liquid on this side, or, and I haven't put a level on it, or the way the sun's coming this time of the year, it's getting more sun. I don't suspect that to be the case. I suspect we're on some slight slant. Um, I may, as a form of experiment, spin this around, and then we'll find out next week if it evened up. But as you can see, either way, we're going to have plenty of lettuce in just two more weeks, I suspect. Um, that's it for this update, and we'll see you next week. Thanks. Hey, YouTubers. Jay's back here. Wanted to give you an update. It's a little sprinkling outside, so I'm going to be kind of quick. I piece of plastic behind me that we cover these but I just wanted to show you what's going on if you come in a little closer can you see we've got crazy growth um, one of the issues when you pick from Home Depot or one of those places and it starts out scraggly you get a lot of loose growth right here but then you get a lot of big growth inside and let's see if we can't pop the roots up for you and see under there see those roots how much water we have left so we got plenty of roots plenty of water uh, these are gonna go for quite some time. In fact, we're about ready to start picking the lettuce and, and taste fresh lettuce. Mm, tastes like lettuce, but really good lettuce. And as you can see, you got some of the curly, more sturdy leaves coming up right here. This is 21 days from when we brought home those scraggly little runts from Home Depot. And put them in the hydroponic juice. And here we are. And see you guys in a, another week. And we'll fix ourselves a big salad. See you next week. Uh, hello, guys. Wanted to add on. My, my daughter pointed something out. Last week, we flipped these around to make sure that the water was even to see if it would matter. And the ones on the right side, my right, your left, were the scraggly ones last week. And we flipped them. And... 
as you can come in here and see these this growth is ridiculous these on this side have um, you know have not fared as as well so they're I guess well still one of the two things we haven't solved all we've really solved is this side's a better growing side but it could be that the Sun because there's no direct sun on this uh, with the trees here on the property. You can see the trees are pretty high right next to us, and uh, we don't get any sun this time of year right now. So it's either the sun or the slant, but these are things that you can adjust on your own patio and things and, and, and fix that. But as you can see, on both sides, it's grown pretty well. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around one more time so we can see. And if you can see that growth right there, you'll see how nice that is. And then I'm going to flip it around, and then next week, We'll see what happens on this side. All right, till then. Welcome back, YouTubers. Well, here it is, week four. As promised, lettuce from the beginning of the video, little scraggly plantings from Home Depot. Now we've got full-blown lettuce ready to harvest. In fact, I've started picking some of the lettuce off here. And I'll show you. And see, now you just kind of come around here. And you slowly you pick the lettuce from the bottom at the first harvest and what that's going to do is give it a lot of room to grow up underneath and get going as you can see these are the original leaves they're not quite as dark green and not quite as nutritious and delicious as these leaves grown but right now as you can see you have a lettuce factory going on and if we lift underneath here we'll see the roots and so we should have some really nice roots all connected, growing. And if you see the level of water in there, you can see that we still have plenty of water for them to be eating and drinking and providing lettuce for your family. Now, if you had only one person eating on this lettuce, you would definitely have enough lettuce for every night of the week. By the time you got done cutting around, uh, you would have uh, lettuce for one and, and have plenty of room to keep growing. Uh, two people, you know, not every night, but you could get yourself a good quality lettuce. But remember, this entire process was less than 20 bucks. You could do two or three of these and have four, seven of them and have a full salad every night. And by the time you got back to the first one, you'd have lettuce. Just trying to show you how easy it is to do, show you the easiest way to do it. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll try to respond. But for now, We'll uh, move on to some other projects. We just picked up uh, Aeroflow 60 site system on Craigslist, so we'll be setting that one up and doing that project, uh, showing you how that works. From that, you probably could reverse engineer one yourself, uh, but for the money I got it for, it was quite the deal. Also, we'll check out the tower garden in a few minutes, and uh, as we get the greenhouse going, as we set up, we'll be doing a three-tote hydroponic chop system, and we'll be setting all those things up. So for now, that's all, and happy growing and good eating. Thanks.